coming back to sri lanka when you think about it we should not have this problem we are rich with natural resources we have our ocean we have our water resources and we have our traditional knowledge and we have our brilliant private sector rohan spoke denver spoke so why this thing is not clicking i think that's the question so that requires this transformational thinking or a disturbance on the way we work and way we share and we work we work together so when you think about george the question you ask is how complex this is complexity comes from multitude of angles one is the uh, simple thing is not being aware of the environmental processes the cause and effect factors take a simple example when you when we uh, deforest or degrade the upper watersheds we have rain capture goes down water infiltration goes down we silt our tanks and we reduce our irrigation potential power generation potential urban services and everything now how do we and then it went down all the way we saw the corals all the silt gets into corals and then come with the increased temperature and the elinos and the other things now these things get really complex now how do we unpack this how do you take this knowledge in a very simple way to all the corners i think that's one of the challenges we see that also come with the economics now what is lacking in sri lanka is we don't quantify these things in terms of economics for example if you take the calendar river basin which is one of my favorite examples one fourth of sri lankans live there we drink that water we have 10000 businesses so in operation we need those livelihoods and three export zones now how do we put all these things together the connections and the economics now this whole new subject is called the systematic ecosystem environmental accounting in sri lanka we are just starting to quantify each ecosystem monetarily and ecosystem wise and then put it together so these kind of complexities are also compounded by the human resource capacity and also the data management i think i want to have upon this data management which because we see this as one of the critical areas the information doesn't flow in a manner that is required now for example there was a good example uh, there was a huge crisis in the south of uh, not having water the simple example one of the problems was that the farmers didn't go to the field at the right time so the water was released by the agriculture uh, irrigation and the first round of water was not being used and then there were more farmers cultivating beyond the carrying capacity because that was not somewhere the science was not there so at the end there are so many paddy fields threatened by the drought not having water now now this is and the irrigation ministry and everybody is very concerned that everybody should go to the field on 25th of october do the ma season at the right way so these kind of things uh, i am just uh, throwing few examples to see the complexity and then the i think the chio rightly said uh, think globally act locally now we need to capitalize on most of the precision farming and very other techniques to reduce our water efficiency and energy efficiency increase the energy efficiency and the water efficiency so we are doing the right kind of adaptation and also bring everybody together with the right understanding and right information delivery so that uh, uh, we can work together and then on a right platform Thank